Praise the Lord. Good morning. About 15 minutes ago, I was out in the backyard, and I saw my neighbor's uh, young teenage son come out the back door. I mean, it's not even 6 a.m., and he slams the door, starts screaming and yelling. He sees me. He ducks his head. So I do like this. Like what I done told you about screaming and yelling at your parents and going off, you know, they that they, they got a they they're older than me. I think uh I'm not gonna say his dad's name. I think he's seventy one. They have a nineteen year old son. And I'm like, Oof, I got a twenty five year old son at fifty three and he's not too much of a handful, but <laughs> he can be if he wanna be. But to have a nineteen year old son and be in your seventies I mean, that, that, that's beyond uh, being a young mother or a young dad because he got a lot more energy and a lot more life left in him than his parents do. They got a late start on having children or having him. He's the only child. So I don't like this too much. Come here. I told you about yelling and screaming and going on with your mom and dad. They don't understand me. Uh, and he, he starts, Then he starts talking about how, how much bad luck he's having. He can't find a job and how hard things are. And I said, I said, don't you realize that the Bible talks about a disobedient child will not live his or her days out. It says to honor thy mother and thy father so that thy days will be long throughout the land. And that's not just life expectancy and living a long time. That's also talking about your mental, psychological, emotional state. When you mistreat your mom or dad or both, when you talk to them in a kind of way, scream and yell and disrespect them and curse and cuss and go off and act a damn fool and be a damn fool, you got to pay me. <laughs> You're going to pay the Lord. You're going to pay with your heart and mind stability. You're going to pay with your emotional unrest. Uh, you're going to have mental instability. You're going to be just, just, you're not going to be stable. How can you have a righteous heart and mind? I mean, you might go on to be a success have a business, have a great job, a master's, a PhD, a, a bachelor's, a great education, a great home. A, it might have a, a decent husband, decent wife, night, beautiful family, beautiful home, beautiful community, beautiful neighborhood. But you won't have a relationship with your mom and or dad. And woe and behold when they pass away and you be out there in the congregation. Trust me, when I buried my mother and had to speak at her funeral. The last time I spoke to her was on my birthday. And to look out and to see people who wouldn't, who didn't treat my mom the greatest, people who wouldn't, who was not the greatest to my mom, to fake break, to cry, to, to uh, holler and yell and scream and to weep and to dab at their eye. That upset me so bad to sit in that raised platform called the pulpit and look down into the valley and to see people so fake, phony, and foolish. I know I was there. I, was, I knew how you treated my mom. I knew how you treated my dad. And a lot of these people were family members. As I leave this alone. So I went on to tell them, if you don't want to be crazy, and have emotional and mental issues and psychological problems and unrest in your mind and heart the rest of your life, and don't have a relation with your mom or dad, I, you, you better cut this mess out. So me and his dad, we talk a lot. And so we double team him. He talks to me about the things he want me to say to him. That's his child. I'm his friend. I'm, I'm the dad's friend. Uh, uh, I'm not the, the son's peer or equal. So we double team him. So I make sure that when I do speak to him, I use the guidelines and the format that his mom and dad, his dad, has asked me to speak to him about. Because sometimes we can say the same thing. Someone else can say the same thing to our children and get through that we've been saying for years. So if you don't want any mental, emotional problems, you better make up with your mom and dad. You better ask God to forgive you, change your wicked mind and heart. Because anyone that can mistreat their mom and or dad or parents, you're gonna have some problems the rest of your life. You, you might live, you might not live, you might live a long life, you might have a prosperous life, but your mind and heart, your emotional state, the problems and pain that you're gonna have to incur, you're gonna have to pay me. See, before God bless us, He has to deal with our sin. And even in blessing us, he's still going to deal with our sin as I leave this alone. You get one mama, one heart, one mind, one life, one dad, one liver. Huh. You better treat them all right, treat them the same. 
So I thought I would speak on this because I know I hear a lot of people talking about how much they hate their mom and they're going to cuss their mom out and you don't know my mom like I know. I might not know your mom like I like you know your mom. I might not know your dad like you know your dad. But honor thy mother and thy father so that thy days will be long throughout the land. If you don't want no mental, emotional, and psychological issues, you better stop cursing and cussing your mom out. I saw people holding on to my mom's casket. I saw people trying to throw themselves off into the grave at the cemetery when I uh, was blessed to, to uh, celebrate my own mom's life and to speak at her funeral as I leave this alone. Honor your mom, honor your dad. Yes, they make us upset, just like children upset the parents. Parents upset children, but they are our parents. We're not their, we're not their parents. We're not their mom and dad, man. Make up with your mom. Make up with your dad. I don't know what they did or what they could have done to make you hate them or disrespect them the way you do. But trust me from experience. I saw people at my mom's funeral trying to throw themselves into the casket, trying to throw themselves into the grave. I saw that pain. I saw that guilt. I saw that uh, 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 no apologies on the face of people who mistreated my mom. I saw all that at her home going celebration. I didn't shed a tear. I didn't weep. I celebrated my mom. Me and my mom departed and parted on great terms. She called me on my birthday and told me thank you for being a good son. And that was the last time I talked to my mother, 12-12-2011. Four days later, she was found deceased by my sister and my niece. So we parted and we departed on great terms. Trust me, make up with your mom. Make up with your dad. Peace.